हेलो गाइस माय सेल्फ शिवम और आज ही हमारी क्लास नंबर फाइव हालांकि हम चैप्टर वन को पूरी तरह से कंप्लीट कर चुके अपनी प्रीवियस क्लासेस में लाइक क्लास नंबर वन क्लास नंबर टू क्लास नंबर थ्री एंड क्लास नंबर फोर आज तो सिर्फ हम एक रिविजन लगा रहे हैं कि जिन्होंने उन चार वीडियोस को देखा होगा तो ये फिफ्थ वीडियो उनके लिए हेल्पफुल होगी कम टाइम के अंदर उनका पूरे चैप्टर निपट जाएगा ठीक है तो हमने स्टार्ट किया था अपने पास क्या इकोनॉमी और इकोनॉमिक्स बोथ हैं सेम और डिफरेंट द आंसर इज बोथ हैं डिफरेंट बिकॉज इकोनॉमी इज अ सिचुएशन वेयर वी हैव अ लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेज एंड अनलिमिटेड वॉन्ट्स बट ऑन द अदर हैंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट इकोनॉमिक्स सो इकोनॉमिक्स हाउ टू डील द सिचुएशन where we have unlimited resources and unlimited wants so this is called economics that's why we call economy and economics both are different okay now next what do you mean by economics we already talked about that but now we have to discuss about their classifications so there are two types of economics number one is micro and number two is macro Microeconomics is a branch of economic theory where we have to study of economic problem on the basis of single person. For example, Mr. X, Mr. Y, producer, supplier, consumer, demand, supply. These are the following examples of microeconomics. Now, if I talk about macroeconomics, so macroeconomics is a branch of economic theory where we have to study of economic problem on the basis of whole aggregate. For example, national income, income and employment, money and banking, government budget, um, employment, unemployment, birth rate, death rate. These are the following examples of macroeconomics. Now, then we have to discuss about like economic problem. So, economic problem is those problems which are generated due to these following reasons. Number one is resources are limited, unlimited bonds alternative uses of resources and resources are scarce then we have to discuss about what we mean by scarcity scarcity is a condition where the demand is greater than their supply these conditions are called scarcity then we have to discuss about the opportunity cost opportunity cost means next best alternative uses of resources then marginal opportunity cost it is an additional unit consumed it is an additional unit consumed and the sacrifice of additional unit are called marginal opportunity cost. Now central problem of an economy. Every problem has to be faced in the problem of central problem of an economy. Generally this problem are classified into three types. Number one is what to produce, number two is how to produce and number three is for whom to produce. If I talk about what to produce, so every economy has to be select which type of goods are to be produced and which quantity are to be produced. For example, if I want to produce the more unit of goods X, as a result on the same time the units of goods Y are to be decreases because we have limited resources and unlimited wants. Such problem are called what to produce. Now every economy has to be decide on the basis of market demands now second is how to produce how to produce basically a technique of production where we have a two types of technique number one is labor intensive technique and number two is capital intensive technique labor intensive technique are those technique of production where we have to engage more amount of labor and lesser amount of capital but if i talk about capital intensive technique so capital intensive technique is a technique where we have to use a production process by machine more amount of machine and lesser amount of labor now every economy has to be decided and choose those type of technique which gives her a minimum per unit cost okay now third problem is for whom to produce every economy has to be decided the goods are to be produced for those people who have a paying capacity whether it will be a poor people whether it will be a rich people these are collectively known as central problem of an economy that is what to produce, how to produce and for whom to produce. Now next is production possibility curve. So production possibility curve is a combination of two goods which represent same satisfaction at each level of output with limited resources. These are called production possibility curve and the features of production possibility curve is mainly two. Number one is production possibility curve is downward sloping 
and it is concave to its origin. Okay. Now, next question arises: Why is PPC curve concave to the origin? The answer is because due to increasing marginal opportunity cost. Okay. Now, the last question is position of PPC curve. There is a shifting along PPC curve and a rotation of PPC curve. If we talk about shifting of PPC curve, it may be rightward shift or it may be leftward shift. Whenever if I talk about rightward shifting, it will be called as a growth of resources, and whenever it is a leftward shifting, it will be called as underutilization of resources. And when there is no leftward, no rightward, there is an optimum point are called optimum utilization of resources or full and efficient utilization of resources. Now, if I talk about rotation of resources, in this case, we have to increase or decrease the unit of only one goods, like goods X or goods Y. This is called rotation of PPC curve. So, guys, we have class one में ये दो topic किए थे, class two के अंदर ये तीन topic किए थे, class three के अंदर ये एक topic किया था, class four के अंदर हमने ये दो topic किए थे. इस तरीके से मैंने ये board पे लिखा हुआ है. कि जब भी आप मेरी वीडियोस को देखें तो आपको पता चलेगी क्लास वन के लिए सॉरी चैप्टर वन के लिए आपको चार क्लास लेनी है ये फिफ्थ तो सिर्फ एक डिविजनरी क्लास है और गाइस अगर आपको इस वीडियो को लेकर कोई भी प्रॉब्लम है अगर आप चाहते हैं कि मेरी वीडियोस के अंदर आपको कोई ऐसी चीज़ें मिले जो आप मुझसे रिकमेंड करते हैं मुझसे चाहते हैं कि हाँ मैं कुछ इस टाइप का दूँ आप लोगों के लिए तो प्लीज़ आप कॉमेंट बॉक्स में लिखना मत भूलना कोई भी सजेशन हो किसी भी टाइप की मुझसे कोई मिस्टेक हुई हो या आप मुझसे कुछ एक्सपेक्टेशंस रखते हो तो प्लीज कमेंट बॉक्स में इसे लिखकर जरूर बताना और हाँ गाइस अगर आपको चैप्टर वन के नोट चाहिए तो प्लीज अपनी ईमेल आईडी नीचे कमेंट बॉक्स में जरूर देना मैं हर पर्सन की रिप्लाई दूंगा और हर पर्सन को ई मेल पर ई मेल इस चैप्टर के नोट्स बिल्कुल ईजी तरीके से बनाए हुए और गारंटीड है अगर आप इन वीडियोस से पढ़ते रहते हैं आपने ट्यूशन से स्कूल भी नहीं जाते हुए नहीं लगवाए फिर भी आप 90 प्लस स्कोर कर सकते हैं क्योंकि अभी तो मैं सिर्फ चैप्टर पर फोकस कर रहा हूँ जैसे जैसे चैप्टर निपटते जाएंगे एक क्लास में ऐसी मिलूंगा जिसके अंदर सिर्फ वही क्वेश्चन कर जो एग्जाम के लिए रेलिवेंट है ओके सो गाइज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी एंड आज के लिए इतना ही बाकी पीसा